Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutoy channel. And this one, I'm going to cover the recent release from um, pre-sale, not really release. It's actually a pre-sale from Initial Model. Um, what we hear is this is supposed to be an event exclusive. Um, rumor is it's going to be a Japan event exclusive in January 2019. Um, however, we're lucky enough to get two rounds of pre-sales. The first one is actually at the Macau GP. And um, the second round is actually at our Kuala Lumpur International Model Show 2018, which is happening um, right now the entire week. Uh, so uh, they have released a couple of pieces, as uh, they, and they call it a pre-sale. And I'm really lucky to be able to get my hands on this piece uh, as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do a very quick comparison with the uh, the other grey model that was released earlier, and um, that is actually a grey metallic. Uh, version so you can see actually it's a bit different um, it's not the same uh, shade of grey and um, of course this grey is, is not the same as the uh, the gun metallic GTR as well so this one is actually called um, titanium grey it's uh, a little bit more it has the matte finishing to it which I really really like so the rest of the packaging is actually still very similar. So I will just skip that. We'll take this out, we'll put it aside, and we'll go straight to the car. So one of the biggest difference um, is that this one, on the base, it doesn't say that uh, the limited production number. So this one, it says limited production to 999 pieces. Uh, let it zoom a little bit so that you can see it. Okay, and um, this one does not have that. So we are guessing um, that is that um, only 500 pieces were made. That's what we are guessing. Um, <clears throat> okay, you know what? We just take it out and we'll take a very close look at it. Okay, here we go. All right, check it out. So I've actually. Um, you probably have seen this already in my comparison video. I've did a comparison um, initial model 164 scale versus their 1 to 43 scale. Um, of course, the bigger scale it has much more details to it. However, having said that, it's really quite impressive um, the amount of details that is also done on this um, 1 to 43 scale. Okay, look at that. The wheel arches, the uh, the diffuser, all the mini trinkets on the sides. So called supposed to generate more downforce, but um, I guess for Pandem it's more for the looks than the practicality. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. It's really impressive, you know. Uh, all you see the little fine print. They're all you know crisp. All very sharp, all details. That okay, so underneath, yep, there are a couple of details, not much, but that's all right. Okay, so this one, yeah, doesn't roll actually, it's not meant to roll anyway. It's a yeah, it's a display model. Okay, so of course, it looks very different. Um, this one has the metallic finish to it. Oh, and also this one, the sleeve is different. Um, it's in white because this is a collaboration with Tarmac Works. Okay, so this one is a, it's a grey metallic. So you'll see it's a different shade of grey. Okay, so what I'll do is, um, of course, I'll take close-up photos of this piece and putting it on my Instagram. Remember to follow me there, virtutoys.mj. And uh, remember to click on the subscribe button to follow me on more awesome diecast videos. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. Bye.